everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and happy last Friday of 2017! Can you believe it? Let's take a moment and try to remember something really special about 2017. Do you have something in mind? What is it? That sounds so special. Well, for me, one thing that was really special this year was being able to start my storybook and creating all of these amazing read-alouds with you and having you join me in reading and having conversations about books and exploring all of these different books with you. That has been one of my favorite things about this year, starting this whole journey into the world of reading with all of you. So I just wanted to say thank you to all of you for reading along with me and exploring all of the wonderful parts about books. And I'm so excited to start a new year with all of you and explore so many great books and read aloud adventures together. So for this last Friday read aloud of the year, I chose a book that I feel really captures how I feel about books and how I hope you feel about books too. I thought it would be the perfect way to end the year to remind us of the importance and wonders of reading. So my goal is to share with all of you my love for books and all of the wonderful books there are out there and share some of my favorite stories with you. And in this book, Franklin's Flying Bookshop, a little girl and her dragon friend had to create a plan to go and share all of their stories with the world. It's a magical tale with gorgeous illustrations and a very sweet story. So, I think we are ready to begin this last read aloud of 2017. So this week's featured storybook is Franklin's Flying Bookshop, written by Jen Campbell and illustrated by Kate Harnett. So that means Jen Campbell wrote all of the words in our story and Kate Harnett drew all of the beautiful pictures that you will soon see. So my friends, who do you think Franklin is on this picture cover? The dragon maybe? And what do you think they mean by flying bookshop? Yeah, I noticed that dragons can fly, right? And I wonder I wonder how they're going to get the bookshop to be flying too. What do you think? Yeah, those are some good ideas. And look, who's on his belly right here? It looks like he has a friend. And what are they doing? Reading together? <gasps> what a fun thing to do with friends, huh, Reed? I love to read with my friends. Do you? Yeah. And it looks like they're in front of the moon. Ooh, reading by the light of the moon. <gasps> That's so magical. All right, well, let's begin this book about a flying bookshop. All right, here's our title page with our title and our author and illustrator who wrote and drew the pictures. And there's, look, Franklin the dragon and his little friend right here. All right. Franklin loves stories. Stories keep him warm at night. His front door is a bookcase that keeps out the wind. Hmm. There are lots of books inside the cave that Franklin lives in. He likes to read them out loud for everyone to hear. My friends, who is Franklin reading to? Yeah, do you see all of them? The little mice and everything? And look, they're all over the place. Do you see all the different animals listening to him reading? What other animals do you see in here? Yeah, I see. What are these hanging over here? Bats, it looks like. And some more mice all over. And he has so many books, huh? Wow. I want that many books in my house, like a home library. Every day, Franklin reads about King Arthur roller skating. So this king, this knight roller skating. And electricity and baking. He reads about spiders and ballet. And how to do kung fu. When the sun goes down, Franklin reads by the light of a thousand fireflies. Can you imagine that, my friends? A thousand fireflies lighting up the nighttime, so bright that you can even read a book. Wow, what a beautiful picture in my mind, huh? 
Can you picture it in your mind? It's gorgeous. But if it's a warm night, he spreads his wings and flies into the sky to read by the light of the moon. How beautiful that you can fly way up high into the sky and read on a cloud by the moon. Would you like to do that? Me too. I want to read on a cloud by the moon. And look at all the different things he can read about. It sounds like if you read, you can learn about all sorts of things, huh? What were some of the things that he was learning about in his books? Yeah, baking, kung fu, and who's doing kung fu here? The bats. And look at these are spiders and they're doing ballet. Can you do ballet? Let me see your ballet pose. Do, 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 do. <laughs> there is a village near Franklin's cave. Sometimes Franklin goes there, but it's always quiet and it is always empty. And he can never find anyone to read stories to. Hmm. My friends, why do you think he can never find anyone? I see some people in the windows, but how do they look when they see Franklin passing by? Kind of scared, huh? Why do you think they're scared? Because he's a dragon? They might be scared of dragons, huh? So this looks like when Franklin comes through the village, maybe they all hide in their shops. I see lots of things going on in this village, huh? There's a bakery. What other stores do you see? Meat stores, vegetable stores, haircut it looks like. Oh, well, I hope Franklin can find a friend. So Franklin goes home and reads about gymnastics and helps the bats in his cave set up a trapeze. So a trapeze is this swing that you hold on to the handlebars and you swing across hanging on by your hands. So much fun. You should look it up. Then he yawns very loudly. <gasps> oh, can you do a dragon yawn? Let me see it. Wow, that's a huge dragon yawn. And he stretches his tail. Can you stretch for me? Stretch. <laughs> and he climbs into bed with a cup of chamomile tea. So that sounds really cozy, right? Snuggling into bed with a cup of tea. Maybe you drink a glass of warm milk or a glass of water before bed. He sleeps tucked up under hundreds of comics, hundreds of these books with pictures. And he dreams about Vikings sailing over the sea. So look, Vikings are all these people. They sail on boats. Wow. What are some things that you dream about at nighttime? Ooh. One day by the stream, Franklin sees a man. What are you, cries the man, quaking in his boots, so shaking in his boots. Why do you think he's shaking in his boots when he sees Franklin? He's kind of scared of dragons, huh? I'm Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon who loves books, and I live in a cave. But the man drops his fishing rod, and he runs away. So Franklin goes home, and he reads about music, and helps the mice in his cave start up a band. So this man ran away from Franklin because he was scared. What does Franklin go home and do instead? He goes and reads more books about music, and then he helps his friends. So it sounds like books can kind of be like a friend, huh? You can explore different things in books. Next day by the farm, Franklin sees a lady. How do you think the lady's going to act when she sees Franklin? You think she'll act like the man? Yeah. What are you, cries the lady, shivering in the spot. Can you shiver? Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon and a band manager, and I like ballet. Seems like these are all things he read about in his books, huh? But the lady screams loudly ah! and runs far away. Oh, so this lady doesn't want to be Franklin's friend either, huh? Because she's scared. And I noticed, my friends, that when Franklin said hi, he kind of said it with a little stutter, like, uh, I'm Franklin. Kind of more hesitant, right? So Franklin trails home, and he reads about space and helps the fireflies make patterns like the stars in the sky. 
like the constellations that we read about in Here We Are. Do you remember those? The shapes in the sky made by the stars. Next day in the woods, Franklin sees a young girl. She has bright red hair, the same color as the leaves. And what is she doing, my friends? And she's reading a book, sitting under a tree. Hmm, Franklin likes to read too. What do you think's going to happen when Franklin says hi to this girl? You think they'll be friends? I kind of recognize her from the cover, huh? Who are you, cries the girl, jumping to her feet. I, I'm, I'm Franklin, says Franklin, and he holds out his hand. I'm a dragon who likes stargazing and playing croquet. This game that you play with a ball and a stick. I love dragons, cries the girl. And she shakes Franklin's hand. Can you shake the dragon's hand? Shake, shake, shake. You're in this book that I'm reading about, about a faraway land, she says. So it looks like the girl's reading about dragons in her book. I think he found a friend. Luna tells Franklin she's read about remote secret islands, secret hidden islands, about treasure hunts and pirates, and about fruit bats and acrobats and how to be a spy. So it sounds like Luna reads about all sorts of things just like Franklin. Franklin tells Luna he's read about sword fighters and fire eaters, about circuses and ant eaters, about flower arranging and singing, and making apple pie. Luna and Franklin feel like they are made out of stories. Stories with exciting beginnings, thrilling middles, and very happy ends. Stories about new people in strange places and about making friends. Wow, there's so many different kinds of stories and things to read about. What are some stories that you like to read about? Wow, those all sound super exciting. I'll have to check them out myself. They want to share their favorite books with as many people as they can. So they sit down together and come up with a plan. What do you think their plan is going to be? Maybe it has something to do with a flying bookshop, do you think? Ooh. And wow, my friends, look at all these things they're doing. It looks like they're reading a lot of books to figure out a plan. They hoist bookshelves, lift them up high with the help of the mice. This looks like all the friends are helping. And they tie ropes round and round to make sure they fit right. They move a sofa, some cake pans, and tie comics on with a string to make a small Lopsided, it's a kind of crooked, bookshop between Franklin's wings. So it looks like they are making a flying bookshop, right? Because when Franklin flies, then the bookshop will fly. And they're putting comics up. Looks like they're getting a sofa, a chair to make it comfy. Hmm. Would you want to go in a flying bookshop? I know I would. Everybody climbs aboard. Luna holds her breath. <gasps> the mice hold each other. The fireflies grasp and the bats cross their toes. Looks like they're kind of a bit scared to fly, huh? Franklin bends down low and he runs as fast as he can. He sprints down the hill and spreads out his wings and takes off into the sunset with the help of the wind. My friends, how do they feel right now while Franklin's flying and running? Yeah, kind of like, ah! <laughs> Franklin lands his fine bookshop in the middle of the village. Look, now all the people are out. It's that dragon, cries the fisherman. What a monster, cries another. Oh no, my friends, they're all scared of Franklin. His name is Franklin, shouts Luna, a fierce look in her eyes. So it looks like Luna is defending her friend. We built this bookshop together from the books in his cave. Franklin's kind, and he's clever, and he's my friend. Wow, my friends, it looks like Luna's standing up for her friend Franklin, huh? How do you think Franklin feels when he hears Luna saying all those nice things about him? And how do you think the villagers are going to feel after they hear Luna say all those things about Franklin and that he's her friend? Do you think they'll change their mind about Franklin? 
Well, let's see. There's a small silence. Hmm, what do you think they're thinking about? Franklin shuffles his feet in the quiet street. It's nice to meet you, he says, as he waves at the crowd, who have stopped in their tracks and are listening now. We have lots of stories that we'd love to share. Please come say hello and pull up a chair. So Franklin's inviting them to his bookshop. Do you think they'll come? The fireflies light up the shelves. The bags cartwheel along the bookcases. And the mice clear their throats and start singing songs. So it looks like all of his friends are helping them out. And remember how the dragon was helping his mice friends learn music? And the bats learn gymnastics? It isn't long before the villagers start taking a look and climbing up onto Franklin to peer at the books. So it looks like the villagers are coming to Franklin and exploring his bookshop. Franklin takes a deep breath as Luna passes out cake. He tells them stories about scientists in Antarctica and snakes. And he whispers tales about dragons and how to make creme brulee a delicious dessert. And everyone is listening to what he has to say. So my friends, how do the villagers feel now about Franklin? They sound like they're his friends, right? They want to listen to all of his cool stories from the books. Let's fly, Luna smiles as the fireflies dance and the acrobatic bats show off their kung fu. So they all hold on tight as Franklin takes flight, reading books by the light of the moon. Wow. So my friends, now look. They are an actual flying bookshop, right? Franklin flew them all the way up into the sky to read by the light of the moon. What a dream. I wish I could read by the light of the moon on top of a dragon up in the sky. Wouldn't that be so exciting? Yeah. You know what? What's your favorite place to read at? That sounds really cozy and nice. What a nice reading nook. So my friends, it sounds like Franklin and Luna got to share their love of books with all of their friends, huh? Just like how I get to share all of the books I love with all of you. And I hope that you get to share some of the stories that we read together or books that you like with other people too. The end. All right, my friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed this last read aloud of 2017. It's a beautiful book huh, about stories and books and sharing all of your reading adventures. It's got everything that we talk about and how we talk about how books can take you on all sorts of new adventures and places and different things in your imagination that they help you dream up of, right? What are some of your favorite stories that you read this year? Either with me, my storybook, or on your own with your own family and friends, or even in school? I hope that you get to share all of those stories with other people that you love so that you can spread the wonders of reading and the magic. And maybe you can even make up your own little bookshop somehow and share all your favorite stories with people. All right. So what a wonderful year of reading it's been. And we still have our craft to check out that's inspired by this lovely book. So let's get to that before we say goodbye for 2017. So one of my favorite parts and lines in the book was the line where it says, And Franklin read by the light of a thousand fireflies. That was such a beautiful image, I think, in my mind, that I wanted to create something for this week's craft that helped capture that beautiful picture. So, we have our reading by the light of a thousand fireflies craft this week. And it's a really simple, super fun one and very sparkly and shiny like a thousand fireflies. And what's fun is that this craft involves you. So it would be really cool to take a picture of your little one reading a book. And I have some pictures of me here reading books from my storybook. And to glue them in the center of your dark, starry firefly sky. And all you have to do is you take black paint and you paint the paper black. And while it's still wet, you get all of your sequins. I used gold and silver and these little tiny silver stars and some pom-poms. And you just sprinkle them on so that they're surrounding you right here in the middle. 
You glue yourself onto a piece of white paper so that you're like glowing. And then you glue that onto the black paper. And you just sprinkle all the sparklies all around you. And it makes for a beautiful shimmering craft. And it's got you reading and the light of a thousand fireflies and stars and sparkles all around you. The perfect atmosphere to take you on a reading adventure and to remind us about all of the wonders of reading. Also, since this book is all about stories, I thought it'd be super fun and a cool chance to make a story of your own by making these little story booklets. These are also really easy. You just take some blank pieces of white paper, um, a colored paper for the outside front cover, uh, trim, trim the white papers a little bit so that they're a bit shorter in length than the cover pages. And you just fold it all in half, staple it together, write a title on, draw a picture, make sure you put who wrote and illustrated it with your own name. And then inside you can design a book, a story. And just like how Franklin and Luna shared their stories with everyone, this is the perfect way for you and your child to go and share your own stories with everyone else around you and have your own little story time and traveling bookshop if you want to take it around and share. So all right, my friends, that's all we have for this week. And again, I want to thank you for all of the amazing reading adventures we've had together this year. And I'm looking forward to so many more next year in 2018. We'll have tons of new crafts for you, new read-alouds, and I'm even thinking about doing some live read-alouds on Facebook Live so that we can chat together. So please be sure to follow me on Facebook if you're not. That social media link can be found down below. And that'll be really cool because then we can chat and we can have a conversation about the books and I can respond to your answers when you answer the questions that I ask throughout the story. All right, so for both crafts, again, those instructions can be found on the blog, My Storybook, by clicking on the link below. Please do share your reading adventures and crafts with My Storybook by finding me on Instagram, Facebook, here on the blog, or on YouTube by clicking on all of those links down below. And my friends, please be sure to check in every Friday for new reading adventures. I look forward to seeing you next Friday in 2018 for our very first read aloud of the new year. It'll be a fun one. They always are, right? So please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my Storybook YouTube channel to keep up with all of these reading adventures. Okay, my friends, well, I hope you have an amazing New Year's Day and a great start to a brand new year. It'll be a year full of reading and fun, and I'm super excited to share it all with you. But until then, have a happy New Year's and happy reading.